our power station is, uh, is what's called concentrated solar power, which means we have 50,000 mirrors called heliostats with a million square meters of reflective surface concentrating all of the sunlight onto the solar tower right behind me. The solar tower behind me will ultimately be 250 meters tall, the tallest solar tower in the world. Um, and at the top of it will be located our boiler, which collects the sun's rays and converts them, converts uh, heats water to steam to turn a turbine in a conventional uh, power plant. The reason our tower is the tallest tower in the world is, is not that we were seeking to break any world records, but because of the density of the solar field. Uh, and the, the closer we put all the heliostats together, the taller the tower needs to be, so that there's no interference between rows and rows of, of mirrors. The State of Israel wanted us to get a maximum utilization of land in terms of electricity per, uh, per unit of land, and that's the reason that the tower has grown to that height. The challenge for clean tech is competitiveness. And so I believe that under a, under a Trump administration, whether it's in the United States or around the world, the incentive remains to provide competitive clean tech technologies, whether it's solar, whether it's wind, whether it's uh, hydro uh, or, or others. And to the extent that they can prove their benefit, I believe that they have every expectation to continue to make investments. Uh, on, on, we also have to consider that the Trump administration has said that they'll be making a significant uh, infrastructure investment. And, and what else is this if not, uh, if not infrastructure? We're still really lagging behind on taking advantage of Israel's sunshine. Israel has the potential to be a, a sunshine superpower, as well as because of its abundant amount of sun and the technological, the technological advances seen here in Israel. However, compared to countries such as Germany, whose renewable resources, renewable energy is 35% of its entire energy mix, here in Israel, we're still about 2.5% of renewable energies. So while we have seen significant steps in recent times regarding the bureaucracy about solar energy, the Israeli government really hasn't been pushing enough to reach its, um, small, its small goals regarding solar energy, and we'd like to see a larger goals regarding solar, regarding solar energy and renewables in general, and a bigger push in general from the Israeli government.